Hi, this is Vitek from Envitronics. Uh, I just want to share with you another project I was working on. Uh, Carver duplicator. The objective of of this project was to see um, not how to make the best possible, but uh, how to make uh, one on a, a small budget and uh, the entire cost, not counting the laminate trimmer, which I already have for the past 25 years. Uh, I think I I spent few bucks on a was even less than a quarter, uh, let's say quarter sheet of a Baltic or birch uh, plywood. It's much stronger. It's got uh, 11, 11 layers laminated together, not five or seven. And um, and also the the bolts, uh, five sixteen bolts, which I have to buy. Um, the table, it's uh, I use the scraps. The table uh, top, it's uh, inch and a half thick, and uh, the top layer, it's uh, birch plywood. I have some bits and uh, pieces of uh, maple. I I finish everything around, and uh, pipes I just found around, painted them black. Uh, that's another piece of pipe which I found around. The shaft for uh, for this part uh, came of uh, discarded uh, uh, printer. It's usually a couple of them inside and uh, easy to work with. And uh, roller bearings came of uh, one set of uh, roller skates. They have a uh, about eight millimeter inner diameter and I think 22 millimeters outer and I use the bolts and uh, and the washers uh, the thing with with uh, with these bolts you can drill the hole slightly smaller let's say a quarter of an inch and then use your ratchet and drive drive the bolts into the wood and uh, in a hardwood they they tread nicely and uh, and very secure. The main, the main part, as you can, as you can see, it's it's fairly simple. Uh, basically, just two boards and the piece with the with the two bearings, one of the each side of the pipe. Their position should be uh, quite accurate, and they have to be, and they have to be offset, so you're not gonna run with one. Uh, bolt into another so just uh, as you can tell just move them half inch or something like that and I put another piece on the top the uh, same thickness and the, as the lower one and these two pieces on the, on the each end were uh, added were added uh, later and uh, this piece is glued and this piece has got two screws so I can take this out if I ever need and slide this uh, part with the if let's say I want to redo the the mobile part I can just slide this out of the way and uh, main thing is to make sure these two uh, runners those linear runners are parallel and uh, parallel to the uh, surface of the table and parallel with each other and uh, so that's pretty much it about the base and the upper part I use a birch plywood and uh, this part I I glued two blocks I didn't like the idea of drilling hole in a uh, in a face of a plywood and uh, so I glued two pieces of maple and I use actually the same uh, bolt which holds the wheel in a roller skate so I just countersunk both holes and, uh, and that uh, takes the allen key to uh, to fasten the the laminate trimmer inside and uh, one detail on the back uh, this piece 
this block of wood on top let's get a screw and the purpose is like this one is fixed this one is just have a one pivot point and the idea is to uh, tighten the bearing underneath so this this part the upper part does not have any play and uh, you can adjust so it's not too tight and uh, it's it slides nicely and uh, I can move this all the way down in case if I want to work on uh, uh, longer pieces and uh, I can swivel and move this part as I want and also move move back and forth so I have a three axis and this one swivel and also I added that was afterthought I added two uh, uh, turntables and uh, they have the same type of uh, roller skate bearings uh, pressed into the uh, table and uh, and the bolt is countersunk into these two tables and I cut the V-slot basically I just run this on a table so tilted uh, I think 10 or slightly over 10 degree um, and these pieces are removable so I can put uh, uh, wooden clamps to fasten my piece and um, the one thing uh, if you want this to be absolutely accurate it would be better idea to run this underneath the belt and uh, instead of running on the turntables have a pulleys underneath which are the same diameter otherwise after making five six turns you will notice that the tables are not aligned properly however for what I am planning to do I might turn uh, half a turn one, one way and half a turn the other way so they will maintain you know the, the, they will be accurate and I use the roller from uh, uh, discarded dishwasher as a, as a belt belt uh, tensioner this is all their belt I found around and um, I that's again that's uh, part of the piece of a uh, uh, roller from a printer and I put the brass ball which is uh, uh, which is threaded tap and threaded and the ball should be the same diameter as uh, as a tip you are working with or if you work with a straight blade you can just take the take the ball off and use the use the end of the of the shaft so anyway um, that's pretty much it I have a counterweight on the back just a piece of steel I found around and I cleaned it and uh, I adjust the way so I don't have to use too much too much force I can pretty much uh, guide this part with my hand when I'm working and I'm not lifting or dragging uh, a trimmer or in the entire setup uh, but anyway you pretty much use both hands one to guide this and one you rest near the trimmer so you can turn it on and off as you need and uh, and I make a little compartment on the back because I hate having spaces uh, which have no purpose for a clamp pieces and whatnot uh, on the back so anyway I'm not gonna run this uh, right now because you all probably know the sound of the of the, of the trimmers and the routers I can just show you uh, what I tried that was the test run nothing uh, spectacular I uh, uh, I used the same bit and I just did a little bit cleaning after with the, uh, with a small chisel but that's uh, uh, that's the first uh, t first uh, test run of, of this device and the small 716 uh, uh, range anyway I just thought you might find this interesting and like I said that wasn't even twenty twenty dollars I spent on this, not counting labor which which is free if you do it yourself. Thank you for watching.